Hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of if you're joining me for the first time. I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on another empties video. We're going to call this summer empties part one. I know it's not summer just yet, but close enough. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. You guys, I hope you're all doing well. I hope everyone's hanging in there. Um, out here in Michigan, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's been gorgeous weather. Uh, things are finally opening back up. I know I see a lot of you guys on Instagram and on YouTube as well. A lot of people are posting like semi-annual sale hauls. Um, I haven't been able to make it to Bath & Body Works yet. I actually don't think any of my local Bath & Body Works are open just yet, um, but things are slowly starting to reopen. I will be having a Bath & Body Works haul, online haul, for you guys hopefully soon. Um, it was a pre-SAS order, so stay on the lookout for that. But I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of candle purchases. You should be seeing some more hauls from me in the coming weeks, and then also some vendor wax hauls, so stay tuned for that. You guys, today what we're gonna be talking about are pretty much the remainder of my spring empties. Some of these scents, a lot of these scents are ones you can use in the summer too. It's what I'm gonna continue burning and using this summer. Mostly bakery scents, gourmand scents. As normal, I'm gonna have my uh, video timestamp. Check the description. If you guys are looking for just wax or just candles, check the description of the video. I will have it timestamped. And without further ado, let's just get into some empties. As always, I'm gonna kick it off with candles. Um, before I show you my actual empties empties, I do have one honorable mention that I'm gonna show you. It's actually still burning, so I'm not gonna pick it up. But right here, this is actually, so this container, if you guys saw this, some of you guys might recognize this. This was my Homeworks candle. It was from the most recent uh, collection from Harry Slatkin. It was available via QVC. I think HSN also still sells um, Homeworks candles, but they're not the same styles. This one was this one was exclusive to HSM. There's two different ones. There was a strawberry one, um, which was strawberry patch, which is the one we have going right here. There was also a peach cobbler one. I didn't get that one. This one's on the final burn. Um, I have like maybe this much. It's fully liquefied, so it's on its final leg. So I wanted to include it obviously in today's video. So this was actually the topper for it. I mean, how cute is that? I'm sure um, some of you may have seen my unboxing video. I absolutely repurposed this jar. It's really, really pretty. Um, I would say overall the scent appeal on this candle, I don't think I would buy it again. It wasn't a bad scent by any means, but it was pretty much um, like a full on fruit type candle. For whatever reason, I was thinking it was gonna be a little more bakery, maybe because the top looks like a pie. I was thinking it was gonna have more of like a pie crust or like a bakery note, but the notes are just all fruit. It's like strawberry, um, raspberries, blackberry, and sugar. If you like more of like a fruit, sweetened fruit type scent, definitely check this one out. Um, not my favorite scent, not the worst. The performance was really good. Uh, in the beginning, it did have some issues pulling out. It actually was kind of uneven. Once it burned down a little bit, I didn't have any issues. The throw one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. I'd say the throw on this one was like a solid eight, maybe eight and a half, very, very noticeable. Pleasant, pretty scent if you're looking for a just straight fruit type fragrance. So that was the Homeworks candle. Um, don't know if I would buy it again. I know Strawberry Patch I think is a scent that he's had before, just not my favorite. I would rather try one of his gourmand scents. So that is Strawberry Patch. Moving right along, talking about strawberries, I have a Bath & Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. You guys all know what this candle smells like, I'm assuming. Um, nice even burn on this one. Good throw, um, still not, not the same as the original strawberry pound cake that came out at the beginning of this season. Um, that one was super strong and it had just more of a, I don't know, authentic gourmand bakery note to it. This one seems a little more muted. Um, all of them, all of the ones that came out after that original launch, to me at least smelled a little more muted, but I still like the scent. I would buy it again. Um, it's not like an unappealing scent by any means. I do like the packaging, cute wraparound label. They had this one in white barn packaging too. I think it was like a lighter pink color if I'm not mistaken. I would definitely rebuy this one again. I have a couple more candles. I have one more Bath & Body Works candle to share with you guys. This is one of my favorite ones. This shouldn't surprise any of you guys. Blueberry pie. Again, nice even burn. Um, this is one of my favorite fragrances. I love this one. 
and berry waffle cone. I actually have, I believe, one more of these coming in my next Bath and Body Works order. So would I purchase blueberry pie again? Yes, absolutely. I'm really surprised they didn't come out with wallflowers for blueberry pie. I mean, if anyone has any idea why they wouldn't, leave it in the comments below. I feel like those would probably sell pretty well. Same with berry waffle cone. I've been checking Bath and Body Works website. Haven't seen any of those wallflowers yet. I do have my mistake. I have one more Bath and Body Works candle to show you guys. This is a single wick blueberry pie. Nice burn, actually burned all the way down. Um, this was a really strong single wick. I know some of you guys don't want a crazy, crazy strong fragrance and the three wick blueberry pie is pretty strong. It's pretty noticeable. I'd say in an open room, the throw on this is probably like a solid seven and a half. Um, but if you want something a little more muted, this was actually okay to have like in a larger or medium room, um, not as intense, but it was still noticeable. I'd say in an open room, this was probably like maybe a five, four and a half, five. In a smaller room, this was very noticeable. So keep that in mind. If they do any like really good single wick sales, grab a blueberry pie. I would definitely buy it again in a single wick. And I have one more candle to show you guys. So this one, I was on the fence when I first started burning it. Didn't know if I liked the scent or not. So DW Homes French Vanilla. There's still a little bit left of this one. I might get one more burn out of it, but I wanted to include it in the video. This was the two wick. From now on, I'm gonna do the two wicks. I got a single wick in the um, another fragrance from DW. The two wicks are the way to go. Um, the throw was great. Um, I don't know if when I first started burning it, maybe the oils were not proportionate in the candle because the first burn, it wasn't that noticeable. But as I kept burning it, it just became, it was noticeable. So the throw on this one was really good. Um, for the price point of this, you really can't beat it. In an open room, the throw on this, I'd say one to 10. This was probably coming in at like a solid seven and a half, maybe even an eight. If you had this in a medium room, it would definitely be noticeable. Um, the one thing I didn't like about this, the vanilla was a little bit heavier. To me, it kind of was almost like a fall type vanilla, if that makes sense. It's, it's almost like it had an allspice or maybe a little bit of something in it to where it wasn't like a pure, like bright, uh, creamy vanilla. It almost had like maybe like an egg or some sort of heavier gourmand note in it. Really pretty. Um, I think I would rebuy this one and maybe pair it with a pumpkin fragrance in the fall. So just giving you guys some ideas. I would buy this again, but I probably wouldn't burn it in the summer. Uh, and that, that's it on all the full-size candles. I have one more candle item to show you. And this was from my Yankee Candle Haul. I did work through my Sweet Pea Madeline Tea Lights. If you guys have not checked out this fragrance and you're a gourmand fan, this one's really pretty. Um, it's just yummy. It's just like a yummy fragrance. Kind of smells like... Um, like powdered sugar, like a mixed powdered sugar and like almost like a, like a Madeline cookie, Sweet Pea Madelines. Don't let the Sweet Pea name throw you off. It doesn't smell like floral at all. Um, I don't even know if there's supposed to be Sweet Pea in the notes. Doesn't smell like a floral fragrance at all. But you guys, that, I think, that is it on candles. Next, let's move on to soap. I don't have too, too many to share with you. I'm still waiting on my order, of course. I did order soaps, so hopefully I'll get more soon. Um, I have two warm vanilla sugars. I like this fragrance, but it's so, so light. Um, but I wanted something that would go with, you know, any of my other scents. I didn't want something to clash, so I just kind of went with something light and neutral. If you like Bath & Body Works hand soaps in their too strong for you, this might be a good fragrance to use. The one thing I wish Bath & Body Works had is um, during holiday they have Vanilla Bean Noel in a soap. I really wish they would have Vanilla Bean, just regular Vanilla Bean, like White Barn Vanilla Bean in a soap. I feel like that would sell really, really well. So would I buy Warm Vanilla Sugar again? I would. I buy it from time to time, maybe once or twice a year. I'll grab warm vanilla sugar. I have two more soaps to show you guys. I had one blueberry lemonade. I'm glad I only got one of these. I was on the fence originally. I really wanted to get a couple of them. It would be good if I was burning lemon scents this summer, like I typically do. Usually in the summers, I'll do citrus. This summer, I'm just doing like all bakery scents. 
this was like 80 20 definitely heavier on the lemonade you get a little bit of blueberry so if you want like a fresh effervescenty lemon type scent with like a little bit of like a blueberry sweetness give this one a try it says the notes are sugared lemonade blueberries and crushed ice it's pretty much just like a lemonade fragrance i have one other one this one i'm kicking myself for not getting more didn't know how it would smell it is really really good this is the blueberry crumble sometimes i find with bath and body Works soaps if it's a bakery or a gourmand soap they smell kind of weird it's kind of um, artificial and off like off-putting but this one smelled really really good you guys i don't know why they didn't bring this one back or repackage it this summer um, the notes are fresh blueberries brown sugar glaze and a dash of cinnamon i just got like a like a blueberry crumble like a blueberry muffin it was pretty strong pretty noticeable if i ever see them bring this one back or if you guys like blueberry scents and you see this see this one get brought back get it it's it's really really good and um you guys i think that is it on soaps let's move on to wax before i dive into it i have to mention in my last empties video i had told you guys i was going to separate some of my vendor wax items from my um regular empties videos I just have not been able to move through nearly as much wax as I thought I would. So going forward after this, hopefully I'll be able to just save all the vendor wax items off to the side. But I did want to throw some of these in here and just share with you what I've been melting so far um, in the ones that I've actually worked through. So the first one I have here, this is EBM Creations. You guys remember I talked about them, I think back in March, um, March or April. They have a lot of really good dupe fragrances. They have like a pink sands dupe, a lot of different scents. So I wanted to get a blueberry scent, obviously to kind of layer with some of my other fragrances. This is Maine Blueberry. I tried it a couple times. As you can see, I still have some pieces of wax in here. This was just not for me. Um, if you guys liked Bath and Body Works Blueberry Sugar, I think it might be available actually online now. I think they brought it back for semi-annual sale. Kind of reminds me of Blueberry Sugar from Bath & Body Works. If you remove like that cream saver type note, it's just an artificial blueberry fragrance. So if you like like a candied sweetened blueberry scent, you might like this one, but I don't think I'm gonna wind up using this. It's just not my cup of tea. I am loving Destination Wax. Any of the scents, most all the scents I've used so far, I've loved 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 so the first one i have here is the zucchini bread wild berry mousse i was really excited to try this one it was the first zucchini bread type fragrance i've used before um the scent itself the appeal of the fragrance it kind of just smells like a whipped mousse if you had like a buried whipped mousse with a little bit of like a spicy bread heavy kind of um spicy bread note to it the fragrance itself is really good really spot on to me smells very authentic the one thing this was poured in december so it did cure for a little while uh it wasn't that strong i had it going actually in this room in the open room i used to have my scentsy warmer right back over there and it could smell it when you were really near it um, but it wasn't traveling so i did have to have this one in a smaller room smaller room performed just fine this one was just a little bit on the light side but the scent itself was really good the other destination wax item I got that I wish I would have gotten two of these. I should have just grabbed two when I was ordering. This is the uh, blueberry pumpkin pecan waffles. So it's like pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works with a little bit of blueberry. Smells as good as it sounds. This one was poured in February and it was strong. Um, so it cured a little less than the zucchini bread one and it was pretty strong. Um, I actually had it going, of course, in the open room and I could smell it, it was noticeable. It's gonna be the only item I have from Bathing Garden. This was from her, I believe, Circus Collection, or maybe Alice in Wonderland Collection. I think this is um, the Alice in Wonderland Collection. Oatmeal Velvet Cake. I got this thinking it was gonna smell like a, um, like a bakery type scent, gourmand scent. It's, it's definitely like a soapy body care type scent. Really good, just not what I was expecting. The throw was very, very light. It was super duper light. Can't have it in an open room. I had to have it in the bedroom or in the bathroom. Um, it smells like a, what you would imagine, like a nice gourmand, um, fancy soap, like a nice oatmeal soap, like a really pretty, pure, clean um, soap with like a little bit of maybe creamy goat's milk maybe. 
that's kind of what this smells like. I really don't get like a, a cookie or a cake fragrance out of this at all. Uh, would I buy this one again? I might. I feel like this would probably be a good bedroom scent. And I have two fragrances to share with you from the Smell Good Company. These were actually um, items that were sent to me by one of my subscribers on Instagram. Um, if she watches this, you know who you are. Thank you. This was my first time trying from that Smell Good shop. And I don't know if all their stuff comes in like these little scent shots. The first one I tried was Zucchini pastries and what I did was I cut it in half and I got two uses out of it in my smaller warmer and then this one I actually just popped um, fully into my Scentsy warmer but the zucchini pastries this smells so good it was really strong um, again it was one of those ones where it was super strong off the bat and I was expecting it to not last it actually I was able to burn it two different times so I was able to get two tea light warms out of this the tea lights usually burn for like four to five hours. So I was able to do two rounds of it and it was still throwing. So I was really happy with the performance of this one. It almost to me smelled pumpkin pecan waffle-esque. Um, very similar to Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffles. It did have maybe a little bit of like a, a spiciness. I would 1000% reorder this one. Um, the Smell Good Shop, if you guys are looking for a good yummy scent, definitely try the zucchini pastries. Can't say enough good things about this one. The second one from the Smell Good Shop, this was the Wild Berry Mousse. This one I didn't chunk up. Like I said, I just popped the whole thing in my um, Scentsy Warmer. This one smelled just like a Wild Berry fluffy Cool Whip Mousse type fragrance. This one was not as strong as the zucchini bread. I also had this one going in an open room, so the scent got a little lost, but it was noticeable. Um, I would say I got like one full use out of it. I probably had it going for at least eight hours or so. Definitely noticeable that first melt. And then when I had the warmer going the following day, it was just a little bit lighter. I would purchase this one again too though. Um, I can't wait to try more of their fragrances just going off of the two that I've used. They've been pretty good. This one was actually a sample. This is from Candles from the Keeping Room. This was Toasted Marshmallow Martini. It actually came in two little pieces. There was a pink one and a white one, and it smelled like a very artificial sweet strawberry, kind of mixed with a little bit of like mm, a smooth semi-toasted vanilla scent, um, which is probably the marshmallow note in it. This one was actually pretty strong. Um, one of the stronger ones that I've melted from candles from the keeping room. I don't know if I'm not letting them cure long enough, um, but some of the candles from the keeping room scents that I'm using just aren't that strong. Um, I'm trying to just use them exclusively with a higher wattage slash higher heat threshold warmer, like my tea light warmer instead of my Scentsy warmer. So I'll give more of them a try, but this is the only one from Candles from the Keeping Room that I've been able to work through so far. Um, don't think I would repurchase this one again just because the scent was a little bit artificial. And you guys, that is actually it on all the vendor wax. I do have one more oddball item to share with you, so I'll just throw it in here at the end. I haven't been able to follow up on this with you guys yet, so I want to share my thoughts on Yankee Candles Vanilla Cupcake Plugin. I have burned this scent in candle form in the past and it was so light. I like the fragrance, but it's super, super light. So it took me a while to even think of trying the plug-in of this. If you guys like Vanilla Cupcake from Yankee and you don't buy it because the candle doesn't throw, try the plug-in. I was really surprised. Um, I actually have it plugged in in my entryway. And for the first couple days, I kept walking by and I go, what scent do I have going? What am I burning? It smells really good. It smells like a yummy, kind of decadent, heavy, cakey, with a, a little bit of caramel, actually. I don't know why I'm getting a caramel note, but it, it's pretty strong. Um, I've had it going for probably three weeks now. In the first two and a half weeks, it, it was very, very consistent, starting to taper down a little bit, but I would definitely repurchase this again and it's a good layering scent so i wanted to throw that in there that's vanilla cupcake refill for the yankee candle plugins that is it for me today on all the empties if you have used any of these fragrances or products leave it in the comments below and let me know which ones are your favorites 
Before I sign off, I do also want to let you guys know I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax follow-ups. If you're a vendor wax fan, follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of follow-ups there. So if you're on there, come find me. And you guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later.